As people across the country call for Confederate names and statues to be removed, Harding University is looking to add monuments and names to their buildings honoring African Americans who made an impact on campus. The university created a task force to recognize African American achievements. Claire Kreitz spoke with the chair of that group. She's joining us down in the studio with more on the plans for the university. Yeah, that's right, Bob. This task force is made up of board members, students, faculty, alumni, all people who want to see a change on campus. It was kickstarted by a petition to rename the Harding Auditorium after Botham Jean that racked up more than 17,000 signatures. Now this task force is looking at more ways to honor African Americans who made an impact on the university. African Americans have walked this campus since 1963. There are so many contributions that have been made on this campus by African American alumni and staff and faculty. In 2020, still no buildings or monuments bear any of those names. That's something that's been a bit of an oversight, and Harding has admitted that. Greg Harris has coached soccer here at Harding for more than 20 years. Now he's leading a new team filled with students, staff, alumni, and board members, all working to make sure African Americans who had an impact at Harding are recognized. Whether it's statues, whether it's the naming of buildings, whether it's the naming of programs, to start to honor some of our African American heritage here at Harding University. This task force has created a long list from star athletes to first African American students. Elijah Anthony and Howard Wright that are two of our first uh, alumni here on campus. They're working to put names like these, past and present, on the front of buildings and etch them into the heart of campus. Botham John has been very important and, and, and is widely known and you know is an international name now because of what happened to him and we definitely want to honor both of them. He says it's not only for current students, but those who will eventually walk these halls as well. They will know that African Americans mean something here. In the words of Elijah Anthony, they've not just been admitted here, they've been accepted here. Harris says they are already working to plan a statue garden with the first African American students, graduates and staff. The task force will present all of their plans to the Board of Trustees next month. Back to you.